The Trump administration recently decided to end TPS, or temporary protected status for certain countries like El Salvador, Honduras, Haiti, and Nepal. So immigrants from those countries came here to the Rainier Community Center to get some legal help. Marlene Tobar has been in the Seattle area 18 years. She's been allowed to stay under TPS because of a pair of devastating earthquakes in El Salvador in 2001. TPS is generally used for survivors of natural disasters, including the 2010 Haiti earthquake. But the Trump administration says temporary protected status isn't so temporary. And that status will end for certain countries soon. Me escuchan allá atrás? ¿Qué tal bien? Okay. Jorge Barón of the Northwest Immigrant Rights Project was one of the event's organizers. And the thing is that the Trump administration has decided to terminate that status effective uh, sometime in the future, so it depends on the country. There were presentations, help from some of the country's consulates, and one on one free help from an immigration lawyer. Marlene came for that. She's a mother of two teenage daughters, both U.S. citizens and she says she fears gang violence in El Salvador. It's hard to say to people not to have fear because they all have fear. Pero pues, hay ayuda. But there is help. The time is quickly running out. Because part of the challenge and part of what we're trying to tell the community is that some of those processes can take a year or more. Marlene and other Salvadorians have until September 2019 in South Seattle, Ryan Takeo. King 5 News.